Welcome back, y'all. This is the Amanda Seals Show. I'm Amanda Seals. So I have been very open about my own mental health journeys and the highs, the lows, et cetera. And uh, Method Man also opened up recently about his mental health journey on the 7 p.m. in Brooklyn podcast with the Kid Miro and Carmelo Anthony. Let's check it out. It's hard. Um, I find solace in just being myself and not trying to live up to anybody's expectations, you know. But it does bother me at times. Um, I have episodes. It's like it's it's like I've been dealing with it for so long. I know what it feels like when it's coming. Mm. So there's really no solution you can have. You just have to kind of like deal with it and ride the shit out. I say look for love, not from other people, but within yourself. And that kind of mm -hmm. helps. But it's all about taking care of your temple. And um, if you're taking care of your temple, not only are you doing something, you know, for yourself, but you're also taking the time out to consider your health taking the time out to consider being there for your people uh, as long as you can possibly be, that kind of thing, you know? Right. So that's what it was for me. And as far as the mental part of it, to cope, you do the physical. I Like, if someone's out there right now listening and you're going through depression and all that, all I can tell you is, I hope your today is better than your yesterday and your tomorrow even better. Mm. I love that. First of all, I love meth. He's not a gentleman. He's, just... He's a method man. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, uh, and he's got mad love for his whiz. Um, <laughs> he's really you know he not only him but the wu-tang have like matured just like in front of our eyes like when i saw the documentary that they did for i think it was maybe hulu or no the show was on hulu i think they did a documentary mm -hmm. for showtime yeah and like they were crying in the documentary yeah that was interesting <laughs> to see <laughs> Right? Like, I was like, yo, these cats is crying. So I actually saw the first two episodes of that docuseries at Sundance with them. Oh, wow. So, yeah, like I had ran into them on the street and they was like, yo, what you doing? We about to go see the doc. And I, I, that was Ghostface. Um, and I was <laughs> like, I want to come. And so they was like, come on, come on. So I went and I was like, you know, with them. And I was just like, yo, like y'all niggas is crying. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yo, you know what I'm saying? We evolving. You know, vulnerability is, is strength, not weakness. That's Raekwon. Uh, wow, <laughs> um, wow. And, and I think it's really beautiful. I mean, we had Kanye over here talking about he invented emo, but it's like clearly the Wu-Tang has, has been through Word a journey up. of Word emotions. Up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I came to bring the pain, hard call for the brain, you know? Also, there's just so much machismo that comes out of hip hop that's disguised as confidence, but I think it's really masking the the bereftness that people feel. Like a lot of these brothers are coming from really traumatic backgrounds, mm -hmm. right? Then they get into positions where they have all this money and fame. Now they're being pulled. Yep. You know, you got people flipping on you, betraying you, et cetera, et cetera. Like that's really, really draining. Like it really drains people and you are in a business where it's like, nah, like I gotta be a man and being man, you know, you yeah. don't let nothing bother you. You know what I'm saying? You why am I talking like this, yo? Why am I why am I word is bond? Word up. Word up. Not. <laughs> <laughs> Knowledge bone. What's the science, baby? <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? I feel like um, you know, when men don't deal with their mental health, men particularly. Well, I think just everybody in general, but I, I think it it it's less acceptable for men to be vocal about their mental health in our society. Yes, yes. So yeah. a lot of times that ends up leading to coping with to in toxic ways, yes. whether it's through violence, drugs, you know, cheating. X. Yeah. X. Sex. 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 Yeah. Yes, and uh, you know, it's like drink a little some, smoke a little some, bust a little some. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Black people, let's prioritize our mental wellness. So here's some tools to help you seal the deal with the good vibes. One, like he said, if you feel it coming on, deal with the physical. Move your body. Exercise isn't just good for the body. It's great for the mind. It releases endorphins. Mm. I've been talking to y'all about my own journey. I'm on meds right now, but I'm not just relying on the meds. I'm still getting up and working out and trying to make sure that I'm doing, you know, what I need to do for holistically for my body. Second, Talk it out. 
Don't be afraid to open up and share your thoughts. Expressing your feelings can be incredibly therapeutic. I know some people feel like they can't trust anybody. All you need is one. Try and find one person you can trust, even if it's not a mental health person. You know, try and find somebody that you feel like is not going to judge you. This one is a big one. Social media detox. Mm. Looking at highlight reels of other people's lives has a negative effect on your self-esteem. Also, yeah. shifting between emotion extremes over the course of videos has a definite negative effect on your self-esteem. Within a one-minute span, you can be laughing, crying, frustrated, curious, triggered. I mean, it's just, it's a lot. So give yourself a little break. We are 